Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to use list comprehensions in Python. So I'm going to walk you through a series of examples so you can see how list comprehensions work. But the basic format for all of these is, inside of a square brackets, there is some sort of a transform, and the transform may just be the value itself, right, x. And then there is some sort of a sequence. Then optionally, you may have a filter, which is an if statement. So let's take a look at one. We're going to import random here because we're going to use that later for one of our comprehensions. So this is going to give us all the integers under 10. x for x in range 10. So range 10 gives us a sequence of 0 through 9. And then for x in that range, it's going to return x. So this part is just like a for loop for x in range 10. It's going to count through the sequence 0 through 9, return the value, and then what is going to be added to our list is x. We'll go through this. It's going to assign it to a new list called under 10, and then we're going to print it out. So let's take a look at how that runs at a command prompt. So what we get is under 10, we get a new list 0 through 9. So our second example is going to be very similar. We're going to create a list of squares where we return x squared for each x in this list we just created of under 10. So 0 through 9. And then we're going to print that out. We will save this. We'll run it at the command prompt. And you can see we get our under 10 list 0 through 9 and then we get the squares 0 through 81. So all we did was change this value really we return x squared instead of x. Our next example, we're going to look at just the odds. So odds are going to be x for x in range 10, and then here we have a filter. If x mod 2 is 1, in other words, if it's odd, then it will add x to the list, otherwise it will skip it. So think of it as 4x in range 0 through 9. If x mod 2 is equal to 1, add x to our list. That's basically what we're doing here and then print this list out. We'll save that. We'll run it at the command prompt. So as you can see, we get odds 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 in a new list. And our next example is going to give us 10x. So 10x is equal to x times 10 for each x in range 0 through 9, inclusive. And then we'll print out 10x. So this is just a different mathematical function we're applying to the value x before we add it to the list. So you can see we get values 10 times x. Our next example is interesting. We're going to try and get all the numbers from a string. So we have a, a string called s with I love to go to the store seven times a week. And you can see we have some numbers mixed in here. We want to be able to filter out all those numbers only. And how we're going to do that using a list comprehension is nums equals x for x in s. So we're going to iterate through the letters of the list using this for loop. And then we're going to add x to this new list, nums, if x dot is numeric. So it's going to apply this test to each letter of this string and then add it to the list if it passes that test. And then you can see in our print statement we're going to convert that list into a, a string of numbers. And we get 2073. So we're able to filter out all the numbers from a string very easily. Our next example is we're going to get the index for a list item. And here we want the index for the item Anu. So we know Anu is in this list, and we want to be able to get the index for that item. So what we're going to do is index is equal to k for k comma v in enumerate names. And what this for loop is doing is it's enumerating this names list, and it's giving us both the key and the value. In other words, the index and the string at that position. And it will only add k to this list if the value is equal to anu. So it checks the string to see if it matches this. And if it does, it will add the key to the list. And then we're going to print out that index. So let's save this. And we'll run it. And we got index 2. As you can see, Cosmo is 0, Pedro is 1, and anu is 2. So that's an easy way to get the index of a list item. Now we're going to delete an item from a list. So here we're going to create a list called letters. And we actually used a list comprehension to create this list from a string. And then we're going to shuffle those letters. And then we're going to create a new list called LETRS, letters. And in that list, we're going to add A 
for a in letters if a is not equal to uppercase C. So in other words, we're going to basically delete C from the list. We're going to add everything to this new list except for the letter C. And then we'll print out the old list and the new list without C. So let me save that. We'll run that. And you can see the old list has the C in it and the new list does not. So that's an easy way to delete one item from a list using a list comprehension. Now what if you want to add an else condition to a comprehension? Well, you can do that, except that the only catch is it has to come before the iteration. So here we have a list of numbers 5, 3, 10, 18, 6, and 7. And we want to multiply the odd numbers by 10. So our new list is going to be x if x mod 2 is 0, in other words if it's uh, even, we'll add x to the list. If it's odd, we multiply x by 10. So we have an if-else statement where we either add x or 10x to the list. And then here's our iteration for x in nums. So this is actually just all part of the transform. And then our sequence is here, and we actually don't have the filter on this. So we can print the new list. Let's try this, see how it works. Now our new list is 50, 30, 10, 18, 6, 7. So you can see all the odd numbers have a zero after them. So it worked. And our last example is a little confusing. You'll probably never need to use this, but a nested loop iteration for a 2D list. So let's say we want to flatten this. There are a lot of easier ways of doing this than using a list comprehension, which is really confusing. But we have this nested list, a two-dimensional list, 1, 2, and 3, 4. We can create a new list that flattens this out of just 1, 2, 3, 4 in a single list by using this list comprehension. X for B in A for x in b. So let's see if that works. And it does. It flattens the list out and gives us a single one-dimensional 1, 2, 3, 4 list. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Please also, I welcome feedback. I'd love to hear feedback from you in, on the video and on what other videos you'd like to see. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.